Big news today as DeepSeek R1 have released their new model DeepSeek R1 05A, so the 28th of May basically, and this is available for free. Now, I'm going to show you how to access this, how to basically build anything that you want using this, and how it performs versus other models. So you can see here DeepSeek R10528 and the May 28th update to the original DeepSeek R1 performance is on par with OpenAI01, but open source and fully open reasoning tokens. And it's actually got a huge increase in context, I believe. And also you can see how it performs down here. Now it's available in many different apps, but I'll show you some of the best ways to use it today. So one of the top most commonly used sources of this is actually going to open router and it's available in RuCode and Klein as well. So you can start coding with it. And additionally, it is popping off right now. So when you get straight into this, if you want to know, okay, how can you access it? I've actually got the resources inside the AI success lab, which is completely free. It's a community link in the comments and description. If you want to get access to this stuff and we'll just get straight into it. So if you want to start using this, you can go to open router, then you can type in DeepSeek R1. You'll see two different models here. So you can see DeepSeek R10528 free in brackets, and then also DeepSeek R10528, right? So two different models, one of them's free, one of them's not. If you want to use it for free, make sure you use the free one. And then from here, you can go to chat or you can compare it side by side. So for example, if we go to the model comparison here, we can compare and see how it performs. So let's open up another model, for example, like ChatGPT03. Open out 03, right? We can compare them side by side. So you can see here the context length is actually a lot smaller on DeepSeek on the new version versus OpenAI 03. The provider here also got the pricing. So obviously, this is free, this is not. And also, DeepSeek R10528 is open source. And then you can start using it if we go to Go Model down here, click on Chat. We can start using this and building stuff out. We can also connect it to Web Search and then in the settings, we can choose what we want to do, get marked down, etc., And then <clears throat> we can run some tests for it. So let's try something simple. Like for example, let's see what we got. I'll take some tests from the AI success lab. So let's say, for example, we want to build out, let's have a look what we got here. Something similar, uh, build out keyword game with oops. We'll wait for that to load. So you can see it's basically a reasoning model, right? So it's going to think out what it's going to do first before it starts building out the actual code. Now it's replying to us. Now it does take quite a long time to actually reason out. So it's taking 40 seconds right there to come back to us. And then it will start with the responses here. Because there's so little information out about this, I don't know if it's actually been released on deepsea.com. So for example, we'll go to deepsea.com here. We can start using R1 in the chat, but there's no announcement of DeepSeek 0528, which makes me wonder, okay, is the actual update inside there or not? So wait for this to load. To be fair, super slow when it's come back to us. Like you can see how long this is taking to come back, but it's gonna be interesting to see what we get back. In the meantime, we can actually open up another tab and run another chat on the same model. So we'll take some of the previous prompts I've tested Claude 4 with. For example, like this, plug that in and see what we get back. Whilst we're waiting for that to load, you can also see that it's available on DeepSeek R1's Hugging Face. So if you go to DeepSeek AI on Hugging Face and then go to their latest R1 update, you'll be able to get access to this, which you can see right here. Now, if you want to start using this inside Hugging Face, you can actually go to Inference in Providers over here on the right, and then you can just type in whatever you want to do directly down here. So for example, if we type in the sentence, the creative visually stimulated space embedded game, blah, 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 it's going to start reasoning and working right there. So that's another way to get free access to it. And also you can grab an API from open router and then start coding with it as well. I'll come on to many different ways to build stuff later. So whilst we're waiting for that to load, what we'll actually do is we'll open up visual studio code. And if we go inside visual studio code, go to for example client and then select open router and then in the drop down here we can type in 
deep sea. I can't see it inclined to be fair. Let's have a look inside open router. See if we can get access to 0528. There we go. All right. So it's available inside Ruko. Doesn't seem to be available inside client. So we'll hit save on that. Then we can start building with it. And if we go inside the AI success lab, we can have a little go at some of this stuff, right? Now, if you want to get all these prompts, it's inside the AI success labs. So feel free to get that. What I'm going to do is just plug in this prompt, like you can see. And we're using DeepSeek R1 to start building with that, right? So you can code with it. You can use it inside the chat. You can get free access to it as well on Open Router, and it's pretty simple and easy to use. Now, if we go back to the chat room, we've got the flashing keyword memory game. So what we can do from here, if we scroll down, that is a lot of code, is we can grab that and then we can preview that on LiveWeave. So now, wow, that's pretty crazy actually. So we've got the game, it works perfectly. Here we go. Let's start that up. So basically what we're doing here is we're looking at the sequence that comes up with the colors and then trying to get them back, repeat them back in the same way, right? As you can see, but the game works perfectly, which is pretty cool. That was easy to do. Worked pretty nicely. Definitely better than the old R1. Like the old R1, usually that would have broken with situations like that. So pretty impressive so far. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code, see what we're getting back here. So it's running the API request. Again, it is quite slow to code with. If you're using something like, I don't know, Gemini 2.5 Pro is way, way faster when I've seen this stuff. But R1 is free and it's open source as well. And I'm sure that you'll be able to use R10528 on Olama eventually as well. Which means that you can notice it locally, basically. So waiting for that to load. We can see what it's doing right here. Now we've got the Space Invaders game as well. So again, like if you're worried about this taking too slow or too long, you can build multiple things out at the same time and then get it to come back to you. So that's probably the easiest way to, to get the most out of DeepSeek if you're trying to code with it or trying to build stuff with it. So if we go over to LiveWeave again, we'll take that previous code that we built and we'll plug this in, see what we get back. So this is Dopamine Space Invaders. Let's start the mission. That's pretty cool to be fair. How do we shoot though? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, it's just, that is spiking the dopamine right there. This is pretty hard to be fair as well. That's a hard game. So some pretty cool stuff right there. You see how easy this stuff is to build out as well. And everything that I've built with R1 so far, it's just worked perfectly, which is crazy because the visuals and everything are working really nicely on that. So we've built flash code. We've built dopamine space invaders. What are we going to build next? Let's see what we've got from Visual Studio Code if we go back here. So it's beginning to code out here. So it is taking a long time though. What, 225 seconds already? That is, no, oh, it's going to take about five minutes to code something out, which is not ideal. I wonder as well whether the API is just getting rinsed on the free mode as well. That's probably the other thing. Let's see if it's actually updated inside chat.deepseek. I think the only way to do this is really just run the same test and see what you get back. So if we go inside the chat room here, we'll grab the same prompt that we used earlier. Let's grab that. And then we'll plug that into DeepSeek R1 over here. Hit enter. See what we get back. All right. Now there's been no official announcement from what I know of by DeepSeek, like on Twitter or anything like that. There's, no been, there's not even been like a blog or a white paper released on R10528. So it's quite a quiet release right they've just casually released this let's have a look if they've actually announced anything on this so this is deep seeks official twitter if we scroll down they're not even tweeted <laughs> since march the 25th so there's no official announcement that's come out from deep seek either which is interesting so it's super quiet super chill but the model is powerful it's powerful it's worked really well so far Let's run some more tests now. So we'll grab another prompt here. We'll say create a game where you spin a wheel and always win rewards with slot machine sounds, new tiers, confetti, etc. We'll plug that in here. We got some awesome comments, by the way. Argentina YouTube says, Julian, you're the best. Yusuf says, yeah, he's the best. And Mr. Spin says, huge fan. Julian, thanks for the content. Happy to help. We've got some good vibes in here for sure. All right, let's see what we get back then from this. So we're going to hit save. 
and now it's creating the HTML and now we can run it. So let's see if this actually works and if it's decent. We've used a standard model and you can see how much it costs. It's ridiculous. Zero dollars, zero, zero point zero zero eighty eight cents. It's not even one cent to build this out. So let's run it and have a look what we get back. Here we go. And that was pretty easy to build, right? It didn't quite do exactly what we wanted to be fair. So we said build a keyword rain game where keywords fall from the sky. It didn't really give us that back, but still not bad at all. Now, if we go back here as well, we've got the response back from Hugged Face. So let's take the code from here and run it as well. Grab that, run it in LiveWeave. If you ever want to run HTML, I'd recommend LiveWeave to be fair. It's pretty easy and simple. So we've got Neon Space Invaders. What a time to be alive. We'll hit start game and see what we get back. It's looking pretty cool, isn't it? By the way, all of this stuff has worked first time round. And that game is looking pretty cool. I can't even get that one. There we go. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Three shots out of three. It worked on all of the stuff that we tested. Created everything in one shot. Seems super powerful and you can get free access. I've shown you out. Now, if you want to get all the resources from today, that's inside the AI success lab. Just click the link in the comments description. You go to the AI success lab. It's a community of 8,100 members. You can post inside the community here and then inside the classroom as well. You can just go to the AI course, scroll down, go to deep seek R1 and everything is available for you directly free inside here for the deep seek R1 0528 update. Plus there's loads of cool stuff in there as well but you can see exactly how this works and how to get access. So that's basically it. To be honest, this looks way better than the old version of DeepSeek R1. It seems way more powerful. And by the way, if you want to get a free AI automation strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. We can just jump on this call and help you figure out how you're going to automate stuff. And additionally, if you want to get the AI profit boardroom link in the comments and description, this basically comes with an amazing community. We make custom videos for all the community members each week directly inside the feed here. If you post any questions, you get answers back pretty quickly, like you can see right here. And then additionally, it comes with all of my best AI automations, workflows, etc. And there's also weekly coaching sessions. So you can jump on the weekly coaching sessions, get any help or advice that you need, and we'll be happy to help. So feel free to get that link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. And the prices are going up next month. So make sure you sign up now before you miss out. Cheers.